Right now, here at home, we are getting a better look at the damage left behind after a round of severe weather. Confirmed tonight, surveys by the National Weather Service confirming three tornadoes yesterday here in Northeast Ohio. And with that, good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Rascone with Betsy and Russ has the night off tonight. We're looking at the aftermath of that severe weather. Yeah, we're getting a better idea of what caused all the damage from last night's storms. And yes, there were tornado touchdowns. I spent part of the day in Wyndham Township in Portage County, where many people there will be cleaning up and trying to piece back together their every day. And they have a little help to get things started. As soon as the tornado hit Wyndham Township, help was on the way. We had at least 20, 25 individual partners and agencies from local to county to state all working together and bringing them into our command post here and making sure we're on the same page. The logistics of disaster response can seem overwhelming, but planning and preparation is a continuous process for that just in case moment. It's been, you know, one of those wow moments. And nobody knows that better than the brand new mayor of the village of Wyndham. It's in the township and we're offering our officers and workers and anything we can to them right now and last night and today. The village helping the township, which is being guided by the county with assistance from the state. It's a multi-jurisdictional effort to support the people impacted in this moment. Wyndham's an incredible community, been extremely resilient, seeing neighbors helping neighbors. Really, that's where resiliency starts. It starts at the very bottom at the individual and family level, and that's what we've seen here today, and it's made this incident go a lot better. Well, yesterday's three tornadoes confirmed here in Northeast Ohio bring uh, the total for the state so far this year to at least 33 confirmed touchdowns in Ohio. On average, there are about 19 per year oh my goodness. in the state. That so things have definitely been taken off and we are leading the country in the number of tornadoes wow. right now. Okay, well, thanks for that report. Mm -hmm. It's good to see a better look at the damage. Well, meantime, the cleanup is far from over in the city of Bucyrus in Crawford County. An EF1 tornado also touched down last night, leaving neighbors stunned by the damage. Harvey Buckley continues our coverage tonight. In Bucyrus. The cleanup continues Thursday. The National Weather Service confirming an EF1 tornado with 110 mile per hour winds. Sound like a train coming through. It rattled our whole house. And I took about two steps towards the basement and I heard glass shattering. The Crawford County EMA director tells me the tornado was roughly 100 yards wide, traveling about three and a half miles starting west of Bucyrus, moving this house off its foundation. My 51 years of life, we've never seen a tornado. And everyone I've talked to, even older than I have, have never seen a tornado. And the Bucyrus itself. An unusual scene for the city. As a child, we always learned that Bucyrus was immune from tornadoes. They said the Indians chose to settle here uh, because they knew the lay of the land and we would never have a tornado here. Preliminary assessments show about 60 homes were affected, as well as several businesses. But thankfully, no one was injured as the community came together quickly. I'll tell you the joy of the small town, though. We had the dumpster here within 20 minutes, and uh, I was feeling overwhelmed with how long it was going to take to clean up. And before you knew it, there were 20 people here and had the sidewalk cleared off of that entire roof in this dumpster in a 10-minute period. You want your gutter back? That's yours. Debris just blown all over there. Tonight, power has been restored to nearly all residents in Bucyrus after last night when about 3,500 people were left in the dark. Matt. Oh, good to see so many people coming together for that. Thanks, Bree. Mm -hmm. Well, now with these storms behind us, after we've gotten a look at all that damage, well, what can we expect heading into another weekend? Oh, well, Betsy's back with a first look here. Yeah, we have another line of rain that is coming our direction. There are no thunderstorms associated with this. We are not anticipating severe weather tonight. I know there's still a lot of rattled nerves here in northern Ohio. The line of storms is associated with a cold front, so we are expecting a step down as far as the temperatures go. Right now, though, we still have clear conditions in the state. It does look like the rain will be here by daybreak tomorrow. In advance of the rain, we are expecting the clouds to thicken up overnight. Daybreak temperatures expected to be in the mid-50s. The rain showers 
temperatures will be light and scattered. Should not be much of a morning impact as far as your commute goes and getting the kids out to school. 9 a.m. That rain should be moving out and by noon we may even start to see some peaks of sun on the western horizon as we start to clear out through the day. So it does look like we have another beautiful day that will be on tap for tomorrow. But in the bigger picture, you have to remember that that is a cold front that is coming through and that cold front will bring another batch of cool air into the state by the time we hit the weekend. So expect temperatures to stay in the 50s all weekend long. However, this time of the year, you don't get stuck with one type of weather very long because by the time we hit next week, especially mid to late next week, we will be in a beautiful warming trend that will swing temperatures right back into above average territory. And it looks like it's going to be just in time for next weekend. I'll have details on that in the 10 day forecast coming up in just a little bit. I like the sound of that. That's your thing.